Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I just got home. I just got back from helping my mom stake her quarium. And there was a bunch of comments on my last video saying, you have to be an expert to understand this. It's very, very easy, but I think I missed a few steps in the beginning that will help people who struggled with the last video get this really easy. So the first thing you need to do is have a Cosmos wallet. You need to get a Quorum mainnet address. How do you do that? You do that by adding the Leap Cosmos wallet extension. And this is not financial advice. This is education for people uh, who are struggling right now. So Leap Cosmos wallet is uh, the one that I use and basically the simplest way to stake also with uh, hardware. So you could stake with your ledger. I'm doing that right now. The Leap Cosmos wallet, you add the extension to your Chrome, right? Uh, here's what it's going to look like. So you're going to go to Leap. You're going to click Get Leap. You're going to go to leapwallet.io. You click, you click Get Leap, and then it'll give you a few options to add extensions. Chrome, Edge, Brave. The only mobile app that is working for mobile staking I'm aware of is Cosmo Station. So if you have to do um, staking on your phone, do it with Cosmo Station. A decent wallet, as far as I know, everyone that's using decent says they can't use it yet. So I'm doing ledger, uh, cold storage, and also just a hot wallet too. So I'm doing both. So after you have the extension in the top right corner, there's a puzzle piece on Google Chrome and you'll see your extension, same where, where your MetaMask is. A lot of people are familiar with MetaMask. And you're gonna click Leap Cosmos Wallet. And this is where you're gonna get the address. This is your key. So this is what it's going to kind of look like. I already did on mine, so it won't look exactly the same, but it's gonna give you an option to either create a new wallet, import an existing wallet, or to connect a ledger. So what does that mean? If you create a new wallet, that means you're gonna generate new seed phrase, private keys. You're gonna write those private keys down on a piece of paper, lock it away, put it somewhere safe, somewhere very secure. Um, that's how you're gonna create a Cosmos wallet. If you already have a Cosmos wallet, if you're already either using Kepler or Cosmos Station, they all are interoperable. Uh, you just import your private keys from the other wallets into, uh, and, you, and you basically restore all your wallets into a leap and you have everything there. The last option is connecting a ledger. It's really simple to connect the ledger. You just click this button and then basically it's going to look for your hardware wallet. And if you have the USB in, it will find it. And then you'll be able to stake directly on your ledger. Uh, one step that you'll have to be aware of, you have to make sure that Cosmos is installed on your ledger. So please make sure Cosmos is installed on your ledger because Cosmos is the app that you need to sign the transactions on your ledger device. So we're getting really detailed and specific on that one, on this video, because this is what you wanted. So then you're gonna get this thing popping up. It says your Leap wallet is ready. And that's how you know you're good to go. So when you're good to go, you're gonna go to Leap Cosmos wallet. And um, this right here is your mainnet address. You're gonna copy this. So you're, you're, you hear me? This is your main address. Everybody was struggling where to get this. You're gonna copy this, really simple. You're gonna go back to the solojank.org bridge, click on Quorium, the amount of Quorium you wanna send and the receiving wallet address is that one that you just typed in, that you just copied. You put it in here and you're gonna click it and you do confirm. I did mine so far in three different transactions. The first one was blazing fast. The second one was a little bit slower. The third one had me sweating a little bit. I was a little panicking. I was getting a little stressed. Like I was searching on multi-chain for my thing. It was like 45 minutes to an hour, I think it took for it to finally appear. Um, so when it finally appeared, I got really excited. And then once it appears in your wallet, where is your wallet again? The web extension. What's this exciting? I was talking to a bunch of people like whose first experience uh, is this going to be in a proof of stake uh, type of uh, crypto that actually gives you rewards. These rewards are going to be coming in 24 seven. You have the choice either do whatever you want with the rewards. You could compound them on the Zen lounge validator. Uh, we are working on adding an auto compound bot. So your rewards could auto compound for you every few minutes and you could get higher APR. 
So we're working on adding that to the Zen Lounge. But you could do uh, whatever you want with the rewards. Um, that's what's really exciting. Soon, when IBC is enabled, you could take your rewards and go and use it to swap for other Cosmos projects if you want to diversify yourself. So there's so many cool options that we're going to have when you have income coming into your life 24-7. And remember when the world shut down? Remember when the pandemic happened and so many people weren't able to uh, create income because everything was shut down? Well, this could help. Like this is going to be passive income, passive income coming in, you know, no matter what, as long as these networks are working. So I've been a big fan of Cosmos for that exact reason, the, basically the passive income that's coming. But anyways, that was a big rant. So uh, you have governance right here. So another thing that you guys don't may not be aware of that uh, soon there'll be proposals and your quorum represents basically voting power. And you're able to vote on basically the direction of the network and have a say. So you actually have a voice. But most importantly, you're going to go here to stake. And this is where how you're going to be able to make that passive income that I just hyped, er, hyped up about. You stake. So basically, you stake to a validator. Validators have con are contributing uh, computer servers, uh, electricity, power to run these networks. And basically, you choose a validator you want to stake with. And uh, in return, uh, you earn some of the inflation that's coming through the tokenomics and also the transaction fees that are happening on the network. So uh, what you're going to do is click stake. It's going to give you a whole list of options. And you can see Zen Lounge uh, is an option. Uh, Zen Lounge is my validator. <laughs> but check it out, guys. I am speechless right now. Uh, we are surpassing the centralized exchanges. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? A Zen lounge, a community, when we come together, we actually have power now. When a community comes together, they could have power. We have just as much power as the big boys now. If you look at this, we are creeping up on BitTrue. I think by tonight, we will surpass and flip BitTrue. We already flipped Huobi, so I think BitTrue is next. And Zen lounge is going to be the number three ranked validator on Corium. So I just, I'm like... I don't even know how to process the emotions that I'm feeling right now, but speechless from the support that I received, it makes me feel like all the work that I put in, all the research that I do and everything that I've done over the past year is like, wow, okay. Like sometimes you don't really, uh, I don't really know how much of an impact I'm making until uh, I see stuff like this. So it was like, I'm like speechless right now. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for all the love. And uh yeah, let's do some exciting things. Thank you guys for being part of this journey with me. Uh, mission accomplished. You guys know I've been working on this for a whole year. Put so much time in designing a good uh, infrastructure for this, but that's all. That's all. Everybody, peace.